player two. It's the video game review review show. My name is Jojo and I'll be your player one. My name is Jeff and I'll be your player one. And my name is Kim and I'll be your player one. Got it on the first try to get on the first. Try. Yay. Yeah. I have a we game. I have a game it. for us to play. I have titled this game. Uh, w- wordy dirts. All right. <laughs> okay. It's because I needed a catchy name and I did not give myself the grace to come up with a name in a week. I did uh, five minutes. I like you said, I had to come up with a catchy name and I did not do that. Therefore, <laughs> it is Wordy Dirts. And now it's called Wordy Dirts. I think dirts. it's all right. I like Wordy Dirts. Now in this game, I have collected from the internet fun and fanciful phrases. And I'm going to encourage you to, in the spirit of the game to not cheat because you will feel the overwhelming urge to do so. And if you do that, the whole fucking thing falls apart. Just say Kim. Kim. I can't cheat? You can't cheat. You got to do this one legit because that's the fun. Kim tends to go look at things when... I do like to... I like to research. I like to... I know you like... I know you like to research, Kim, and I have to say that for the logic of this game, you literally can't do that or it falls apart I won't do it. I'm not going to do it. I will pretend it's... Okay, everyone, it's 1996. It's 1996. Yeah. We're playing... we're We're playing wordy dirds... As we wait for our parents to finish arguing in the kitchen. Okay. That's what's happening now. My parents were already separated by them, but I, I'll, I'll suspend my disbelief. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you the words and you are going to tell me what you think they mean. And okay. uh, I will do three of them. And the winner. You feel like the, the winner gets to log off and not be on the, the winner gets to, The winner gets one <laughs> free escape from the podcast. <laughs> In a future. Wait, that's not fair. Jeff already used his three times. I've used quite a few so far. Yeah, but, but that's I, fine. I, I, I get to the debug menu of the podcast, so I'm ch- I'm using the Game Shark. That's you are, yeah, Jeff Jeff did plug in the Game Shark to the back of the serial I/O port of his computer, and that is why he does get to escape the the podcast so many times. But not today. Today you have to earn it through winning wordy darts. Are you ready for your first word? Yeah. This word is Big Dipper. Oh, I, mm, okay. is it gross? Can I get, do we do, is this the 20? I can't use it in a sentence. Okay. Here's what, here's what I'll say. If I could use it in a sentence without giving away the definition, I would, but I can't do it with this one. Okay. Are, is, are they all, are, are they all sexual or they could be anything? They any, can be, any, they can they be, they could be anything. <laughs> anything can be sexual if you say it like this. And at the end you go like hubba hubba. You know what I mean? Like, awooga, awooga. Ew, no, no. Have you ever been sexed in your whole life? Like, listen, hey, wait, listen, that? listen, listen. It's like, hey, Jeremy has uh, cancer. Hubba hubba, right? Like, see, that's sexual. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's look, we're like five minutes in. You can't come in with that heat the, in the first place. <laughs> the definition of this one is not explicitly sexual. Okay, all right, I got it. I got, I got it. One, okay. I got one too. I got one too. Okay, so Kim, Kim go first. Uh, okay, so I think okay, I was fibbing. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is like when you hit the button in Jeopardy, so you're the first one, and then you're like, oh. ah, shit, I thought I had it. My bad, um, Alice. So Big Dipper is when you, uh, it's when you take a chip. Okay. And you scoop entirely too much dip on the chip, and it breaks. Interesting. Here's the pro- here's, here's problem. Mine is... Almost exactly the same. Jeff, what's, hey Jeff, what's yours? <laughs> Mine was you get like a McNugget and you 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 dip it into the sauce and you take ninety eight percent of the sauce with the one nugget. Like yeah, that you, was the big dipper. You capitalize. You had one big dip and now you're you're weak on sauce or dip or whatever it may be for the rest of the the snack time. Do you both feel good about that? Yeah. So we're both dip related. Uh... <laughs> we're we're both hungies. It's not. It's it's dinner time. <laughs> you're either both wrong or you're both right. Which is a carbon neutral answer. I'm well, gonna stick with Mike because I can't think of anything else without really. That feels like the most natural to me. Um, or what about like somebody who walks with like a real like like a like a big swing in their walk? Like, like they're they, really taking big big dippy steps. Like big dippy steps. Okay. If I had to not be a a dip related definition. Okay. F- food dip related definition. I would say that. 
Okay. I'm sticking with mine. Kim's Walk of the Change Church. So Kim, I'm going to text Mike and see if he'll make some dips. So big, so so Kim, you got big dippy steps. Yeah. Jeff, you're thinking it's a, it's related to actually like dipping stuff in just other things. Well, right? we get points if we're not on it, but close enough. Yeah, like in the obviously. Yeah. All right, all I think right. you get effort points. Absolutely. Big Dipper. This is by uh, Urban Dictionary user Anne Orlando 69. Big Dipper, one who dips to excess. A libertine of sauces. <gasps> if a sandwich oh, is being it. eaten, four plus mustard varieties must be smeared in overlapping pools on the plate. If a hot dog is ordered at a movie theater, two fistfuls of condiment packets are a prerequisite. If takeout noodles are eaten at home, the restaurant's condiments must be put to work in tandem with a variety of ancient sauce containers from the refrigerator. God forbid chicken nuggets enter the equation can be used for extra value if they are big spoon in bed. Okay. You, you should have stayed on it, Kim. You gave it up. Yeah. I know. So first point in uh, Wordy Dirts goes to Jeff. Are you ready for another one? Hit me. Kimberly, Kim? I need I need Kim, uh, I need a positive. Yes, yes sir. I sorry, okay. I was texting to ask Mike if he would make me some onion dip. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the big dipper in the relationship, you or Mike? <laughs> I think he's well, I mean it dip, he's big spoon, but I definitely over dip. But I okay. like to make sure that all of the dip when I dip is totally flat. Like I'll use my my whatever I'm dipping, like a potato chip or whatever to flatten out the dip mm-hmm. so that I put my hand up on that chip. Yeah. I don't, Wait. I don't want the dip to have any dips in it. I like it to be totally flat. Like I'm like, like paving you want the sidewalk. evidence of the dipping to be not there. Yes. Okay. That's important that's, to me. That's weird to me. No, it, no, it's not. It's not weird. It's totally normal. I was never here. It's, dipping. Tol- it's totally, it's totally normal. Hey, it's listen. absolutely a normal hey, thing. It's totally normal. Okay. Flatten the dip out. Flatten the dip out. Flatten it out. It's totally normal. It's totally flatten normal. The, flatten the dip out, you guys. Are you ready for your next word? Yeah. yeah. Shooky. Wait, what? Shooky. S H O O K I E. Shooky. Shooky. Yes. Yeah. Shooky. So with a T. No. No. S H O O K I E. Shooky. Shooky. You say it weird. It's a weird word, and you're even saying the word weird some for some reason. I don't understand how. Shooky. Shooky. Okay. I'm saying I'm pronouncing it so you can, we can, let's say Shooky a couple more times just to shooky, get out of shooky, our system. Shooky. 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 What does it, what does it mean? I'll go um, first this time because Kim went first last time. Yeah. Um, I think it means shitty cookie. Interesting. That would be, yeah. Uh, I would. <laughs> Um, I can't the same answers to everything. <laughs> Listen, this is a, this no. is it. This is a competitive game with points. If you just have the same answer, it okay, like no, absolutely say, devastates the point of it. I'm not gonna say a shitty cookie. I'm gonna say okay. It's a when you're like a little bit scared of something. I'm a little shooky. Oh. I'm a little shooky. Mm. I'm a little bit shooky right now. Oh. A little bit scared, and we have a bad cookie. Mm-hmm. It is a noun. Dessert, it's a shake plus a cookie, and more specifically, a large chocolate chip cookie with vanilla soft serve on top, originating from St. Joseph's High School in South Bend, Indiana. So the, it's sentence, the sentence is, I'm getting the cheese fries and a shooky for lunch. It was by Iceman20 <laughs> from November t- uh, 2nd, 2010. Wow. So do I get a point for that since it's food no, related? No, you do not no, get a point for that. because it's a good thing. It's but a cookie, cookie was related in it. Like no, 50 yeah, no, 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 no. The shitty was the, was the key in there. I will but fight you, can, you. But you can have a shitty shooky. You could have a shitty shooky, but you... You, you missed the shake you did, portion. You did miss the shake portion. Hmm. Well, Kim, you missed the all portion, so get fucked. <laughs> There's the competitive nature. Yeah. All right. So I'll give you one. I want to do one more. Is this the this is is this for all the cookies, all the shookies? This is for this is for all the marble, all the one marbles that you've. Which got. means that so. the previous two rounds did not matter at all. Continue. These nights. Mm. Uh. Okay. I think I'm gonna go first because uh, if if you get in the ballpark of this one, it's two points. Okay. Is so it, I'm. Is it nights with an N or with nights with a K N? These nights. Oh, with a K? With a K, K nights. Oh, okay. See, that's These different. K nights. See, I. Okay, I'm gonna say, it's so like when you say D's nuts, and I do. You're you're changing the trajectory. Somebody's talking about something, and you just like you're you're basically doing a this one time it's at like band a switch, camp. It's a switcher. Or that's kind of what she thing. said. Yeah. Or yeah. So I'm thinking. Like, can you go to the store and pick me up a couple of D's? These, these nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking it's like that, but when you get 
ambushed in a carriage going down the road in uh, King Arthur's court. Okay. Okay. So it's like, hey, uh, listen, we're going to be taking the princess with D's. D's what? <laughs> D's knights. D's knights. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's good. That's, I like that's that. Where, thank you. Jeff. I think that it is a part of medieval knights of the tables of round go it's like a the attraction you go oh, and you the, like oh, medieval oh, times um, dinner medieval, medieval times, times. i think i think at medieval times there's like two jokester knights or two character knights oh these knights and it's like it's like with wrestling they're just like and here's these knights and then like there's two knights that go out mm. and they it's and it's popular so like they might even have like a t-shirt like that's how they brand it like it's these so like their characters or it's like a saying from medieval times the the restaurant Okay, so we got medieval times the restaurant, and then we have um, a, like a like a fanciful way of of kidnapping someone in King Arthur's court. These knights used to describe an attack in chess with both knights. Oh, M- made popular by chess grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura. Okay, damn it. The so use in a sentence: We're going to go in with these knights, and we'll take the pawn on f three. It was so, written by Benjo Kazooie on May 17th, 2020. Oh, that's what Banjo Kazooie's been doing this whole time. He's been doing. Something. He's been, he's been so playing both, chess. Both well, of so you, uh, don't both we both you, win? Because we both, you had both lost. Um, oh, okay. Well. Do you want to do, you want to do one more? Yeah, we have to have a tiebreaker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, this so. is the zeros. last one. This is the last one. This one. Here's the word. Two zeros don't equal one. They don't. Talking about Jim. <laughs> no matter how much you try. <laughs> I was, I was Here's gonna... the last one for all the marble. Sacnosphere. Spell oh, it. that's easy. That's Fuck, like when really? you're, yeah, when you're anywhere near like a guy's genitals. Like if you were like she put his her hand in his sacnosphere. Okay, Jeff, what do you think? Snack. So snackness. So S N A C K. No, no, no. S A C K. There's no K. There's no K. It's S A C N O. S A C N O. I was hearing snackness. sac sacness uh, Your brain's on heat. I think that it is when you are within a certain boundary of a circle of college dudes playing hacky sack. Oh, powerful. And then Kim, your guess was uh, when you are within a certain boundary of a dude's junk. Kim, I have to give you the big W on this one. The <gasps> atmosphere slash climate on or around your scrotum slash testicles. The so, we, so, it's, so, it's, so it's a tie. So it's a tie. We win. We We're like win, soccer Kim. players. We like so- yeah. You like soccer players. It's humid and hot in my sacnosphere during the summer months. That was by M Dubs 152, June 12th, 2023. <laughs> the thank you for partaking in the first ever Wordy Dirds. That was wonderful. Week, thank week you. Yeah, that was really fun. Thank you, guys thank you Internet. Thank you, Internet. Internet. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, me. I think that I could probably use sacnosphere in a sentence. It's going to come up a little more now that you've used it in the context of our show. And speaking speaking of the context of our show, this is a video game (laughs) review review show. Where is that first part going to be going into? (laughs) You're never going to guess. And on this show, we take a look at popular, usually recently released games. We take a look at the reviews of those games from other gamers to determine whether or not they are worth playing because there are just so many games. We just don't know what's worth getting. And so we rely on the wisdom of other gamers to help us through that hard time. Now, we have two games on our docket today. Both are listed in the review document that I have provided you, Jeff. Um, Um, I got it. And you're not Jeff. Oh, do I not got it? I'm 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 Jeff. Doesn't matter. I'm just saying that like I said, hey Jeff, Kim, you responded. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but you're not Jeff. Well, Kim has power of attorney over me, so that's true. I don't know why she demanded she get that, but she does <laughs> yeah. have it. <clears throat> what am I gonna say? No, she's my you're friend. You're not. Yeah. Fir- we'll, and now I'll- I can't because she has power of attorney. <laughs> Christ yeah, yeah. alive! Can I please just <laughs> get through this part of the show? I don't know. Can you? No. The game, the first game, God will and the Creek Don't Rise, that we're going to be looking at on this episode is Shadow Gambit, The Cursed Crew. It's quite a name. Produced by Me 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 Games. Oh, also like was that. developed by them. Me 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 Games. Me Me Me. Me Me Me. I guess maybe that's what it is. It's like a, uh, like you're getting ready to say. It is a tactical strategy stealth role playing game. Uh, the blender I've seen of it, it's it's basically there's not many games like it. It's 
unless you are playing literally the other games from this company. Uh, so I think if you're not familiar with what this game is or what this company is, the best way to kind of think of it is it's kind of like if Pirates of the Caribbean plus like XCOM and then mixed in with a little bit of Metal Gear Solid because a cool, you're a pirate who sneaks around. There's a cool pirate lady when you Google it. Uh, yeah. There's a couple cool pirate ladies. There's a few pirate ladies. There's a lot like of pirates this in this one. Wait, yeah. am I allowed to Google this? You can Google this. We're done playing Wordy Dirds. You can Google this one. This game was released on August 17th, 2023. So very, it's hot, hot off the wow. press. Yeah, last um, week. It is available definitely for Steam, Windows, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5. You can get it on major consoles, not on... Switch. Yeah, well, not on Switch. And unless things have changed in the time when I looked, it's also not in Game Pass. So you have to buy this. this so one. why are we even thinking about this game then? Because you know what, Joe? I don't pick games to talk about based on their cheapness. I pick them based on do gamers have opinions on them? And apparently they do. Um, it is available for $39.99. Oh, not bad. Interesting price. And right now on Xbox, at least, it has a slight reduction to $35.99. You can also do a free trial, like a demo of it, to see if you like it. And by all accounts, you will. Uh, the Metacritic score for um, Shadow Gambit is really high. Um, oh. Yeah, let me pull up the uh, the exact number because I think it's... It, 85%. I think it, yeah, that's high. That's high for a game. Yeah, that's what I strive. 85 when I was in junior college, that's what, yeah. that's what you strive for. Now, yeah. it's, and now here's, here's where it kind of is weird, right? It's 85 on PC. It's 86 on Xbox, and it's 88 on PlayStation 5. Well, see, that makes sense to me because some consoles are going to be more fun to play the game than others. Now, yeah. on Steam... It currently enjoys 861 user reviews, 96% positive. Wow. So this is a hit. Wow. It's a yeah. big hit of a game. And I guess those PC gamers are just easier to, to appease. Hey, guess. Xbox and PlayStation both love it. Not as much as PC. Everybody loves this game. Everybody loves it. Now, will we love it? I don't know. I well, know, it depends know. on what other people said about yeah, it. Yeah, we got to know yeah. what other people said. I only love it if someone else says that they liked it. That's how that it works. We dogpile. Yeah. This is this is the logic of reviews. I only like it if other people say it is good. Yeah, that's how I found out that I accidentally liked Billy Joel for like 10 years. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. I don't like Survivor unless I talk to people who like Survivor and then, yeah. then, then I love it. Also and pretzels. It, also pretzels. Pretzels are the I same way. Like, I, don't, I don't like tastes pretzels. Like, tastes like burnt foot ass bread. Unless yeah. you love pretzels, in which case so do I. And you can't even put good things on pretzels. Like put mustard on it. Fuck that. Give me something good. <laughs> put something on Hey, what are you going to put on a pretzel that you wouldn't eat on its own? Why haven't they done more with pretzels? Like put things <laughs> inside the pretzel. Why don't you put like a, like, like put some sausage in the pretzel? They have cheese filled pretzels. They do. Hey, Jeff, you're really talking out of your ass now, actually, because okay, that is like the number one thing at Wetzel's is a, a, a hot dog within a also, pretzel shell. Ritz crackers has a Ritz cracker with a pretzel on the other side. It's great for dipping. Look, I'm sorry that I'm not a, a part of the upper crust <laughs> like yeah. some of you folks. You're really you're really like 1994 pretzel guy over here. Yeah, yeah I'm just like pretzels. Talking out of your ass. <laughs> When, when I was a kid, pretzels just came from the pretzel maker. Back in my day, I had pretzels on the trolley. I When I wanted to get a pretzel, I had to walk uphill to the pretzel store both ways. And then I got polio. Yeah. That's how that story ends every yeah. time. You never yep. get to that part in comedy movies, but that is how it stops. Yeah. On a long enough timeline. Yeah. So how about these reviews? All right. Yeah. So we're just going to do this first one then. All right. All right. Yeah. Give me okay. that sweet, sweet review action. Shadow Gambit, The Cursed Crew. First one, um, Steam user M. Jadona. M-G-E-D-O-N-A. Jadona. Maybe it's my Jadona. Jadona. My Jadona. Yeah. All right. So this is bullet pointed. <laughs> we all did which a great I, job on that, you guys. <laughs> love us. <laughs> I, I love me a review that has bullet points because I'm nice and quick. I don't need to go through a whole paragraph. So right. this has bullet points. Uh, first one, very good voice actors. Second one, graphics and gameplay are insanely good, very challenging, period. In parentheses, I play in high difficulty, in parentheses. Ooh, this person is badass. This person wants me to have sex with them, and I want to because they play in high difficulty. Close to art <laughs> style of heads, I love it so much. 
Wait. Don't know what that sentence means. <laughs> Close to art style of heads. I love it so much. Hey, yeah. don't Google heads in all caps. It is a very cursed Google image search. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, last bullet point. Maps, designs, character designs, and abilities are fantastic, period. If you into stealth games, don't hesitate. Just buy it. I I am into is into stealth games. Well, then, Kim, are you hesitating to buy this no, game? No, you should. Good, you should. No. Don't don't resist. You should have already owned this game, and if you don't, I will find you. I gotta get out of this Google search of heads. <laughs> 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 gotta get out of here. Is it is it just heads or heads I love or heads I? Is it just heads? <laughs> Let me do. What's heads? Just heads. I don't, hey, Jeff, I don't know, because I tried to get into just heads and it got me nowhere. I, I just typed in heads game, like, you heads? know, because heads. I'm going to do heads Why art? is there a question mark on there, Jeff? I Well, because I'm like, I usually when, you, when it's a generic word, you have to put context for what it is you're searching. If I was looking up for a movie called heads, I'd do heads movie. So heads game. All I see is a show called heads up and then a, a game or an app called heads up. But I believe it's based on the show. No, I don't I know think, what the fuck they're talking about. I think this person about. just said that they like the close to art style of heads. They, they like they talking, how the heads look. They, they like just how like the how the look. heads look. I think they just like how the heads look. Or are they talking? Are they talking about heads? H e d z, a uh, nineteen ninety eight action game for Windows. <laughs> I don't. Hey Jeff, I guarantee that no one knows what you're talking about. Even us on this podcast with Google at our fingertips, we don't know what you're talking about. So it's not that. I really, maybe they're just saying that they like how the heads look and they just don't know how to communicate that idea. I just, they're just so excited. They like the game so much. They just so love much. these fucking heads so much. And I am into stealth. I love games where you have to sneak. And so I'm very much into my Godona's. Uh, do, do, like, do, do, do. Yeah, yes. exactly. I typed um, in the heads in, in Steam because, and not even in Steam is there just a game called Heads, which is actually strange. We made it up. Maybe Jeff, they made it up. Maybe they didn't make it up. Maybe they're saying Heads. Maybe they're just saying I like when a head has a style, a particular style. I okay. like the style. I like the Heads style. I like it when a head has style. I like when the head has style. When you go to the, the supermarket and you see like a fancy cabinet. Mm -hmm. I'm talking, like, listen, I'm talking one of them red. They say they're red, but they're kind of like a deep, like a maroon. Like, like it's a like purple. a purple. Yeah. You know, that yeah. very powerful, like regal, that regal, that, that, that regal royal cabbage, the that royal regal purple. brainy mm. sphere that you yeah. can just like, mm, just going to get that with some mayo and a little bit of sweet onion. I love heads. I okay. love the, I love the style of these heads. Yeah. I love the style. Maybe they maybe they just don't understand the uh, maybe we're focusing on the heads part and it's just the rest of the sentence that they don't quite understand how to get across. These heads. <laughs> These heads. <laughs> put that into Urban Dictionary. Just put heads in there. Don't put heads into Urban Dictionary. No, I'm not putting heads in Urban Dictionary. I've fallen for that before today. I'm not doing it again. It's going to be Lindsay Lohan bangs all over again. That's right. But this game sounds good. This person seems to like it. And they play in high difficulty, which to me, that means it's I'm, I'm just dripping wet. You know what you need to have on your shoulders and it's good in order for you to play on high difficulty? Good heads. Good, good heads. Some good you heads. gotta have a good heads on your shoulder. You gotta have a good head. You gotta on your have shoulder. more than one head, definitely. And they both and have to be good to solve these many puzzles and <laughs> difficult challenges. You know, when I when I go get a haircut next, I'm gonna be like, I want the art style of my heads. To, to be, be good. to be good. <laughs> good. My head's art style is fucking dog shit. Give me like a three on the side for a better style of heads. I must love it. What's the fresh heads style that the kids are doing? I, the, I will love so it so much. Please tell me. What does Gen Z do to their <laughs> what's heads? What's happening now? with my brain right now? <laughs> I'm telling you what's happening to your brain, Kim. You're thinking about the style of your head. Do you love it? I, am, I, I just like the style of their heads. Yeah. I love their heads. Good You're going to love the style of their heads. I'll be disappointed if I do play this game and I'm just like, I love everything about this. But the one thing I thought I'd like and I don't. The heads. <laughs> the heads. Gotta love these heads. Gotta, Gotta love like these heads. So thank okay. you. My, thank you, my Chidona. But, thank you, heads. <laughs> that was nice. Thanks, guys. Uh, from Steam user Mr. Rauxa. It's Mr. and M R R A U X A. Steam user. Hey, Mr. Hi, Mr. Rouska. Hey, Mr. Rouska. Can Jimmy come out and play the game? 
the, uh, game, the game of st- of uh, Shadow Gambit. The Shadow Cursed Gambit. Crew. <laughs> There's heads in it. We I'm can't being keep very going. specific with my request of your child. Sorry, Billy. My dad said I can't come out and play sh- sh- Shadow, Shadow Gambit, Gambit the, the Cursed, Cursed Crew. crew. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> the emphasis on cursed becoming cursed is really nice. It gives it a certain sense of elegance. It's from the, I don't know what part of the Isn't country you that. Is that how you say it? No, it's how well, I you say do it. say it. You can say it. I said cursed. I'm not saying cursed. I like okay. cursed more. I like having that switch. When I say when I say Pirates of the Caribbean, I will always say Par- Pirates of the Caribbean. But when I talk about the place, it's the Caribbean. Yeah. You know, it's like, like Pirates I'm gonna of the go Caribbean. For a Caribbean cruise. I'm not going to go for a Caribbean cruise. But what if you go for a pirate cruise? Well, that's Ooh, a Pirates of the Caribbean. Nope. No, that doesn't sound right at all. Pirates of the Caribbean. Cruise. I just like the way yeah. that it comes out. That yeah. you have to take your time and you hit different highs and lows when you say Caribbean. Yeah. Caribbean. Same with cursed. Cursed. Yeah, same thing. We like to have some <laughs> switch ups in our words. I'm sorry, but you were saying of your review. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I interrupted. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Rauxa, uh, this says, quote, you can pet the monkey. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Don't go bananas on him. Stop. Okay. Now there's another. There's another sentence though, and immediately after it says, "In all seriousness, the game Wait. is." <laughs> hey, look, listen to me right now. Don't you go bananas on this monkey. <laughs> look, he said a joke, and then he just took the chair he was going to sit in, turned it backwards, sat down, and then said, <laughs> "Listen, look, in all we're all having a lot of fun here, but <laughs> we've got some important stuff." Do you know who did have a good head style? Our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to talk about. <laughs> I want to talk about Shadow Gambit, the Cursed Crew. In all seriousness, the game so far, amazing. The atmosphere is great. The setting, the characters, and the story are great and enjoyable. The mechanics feel fresh for the genre and make the gameplay solid. Totally recommend. That last part, this is what it sounds like when an AI writes a review. It's just like, it's like empty words. There's just no details. Here's what, here's what I like about it. It says the atmosphere is great, comma, the setting which isn't the atmosphere. Which is not the atmosphere. It's, it's just the setting, comma, and then it goes in. The characters in the story are great and enjoyable. So the setting's just kind of in there, like he had to throw it in contractually. The atmosphere's good. The characters are great. And I enjoy them. Setting, I see you. Yeah. I see you, setting. I see you there, setting. I know you're there, setting. I'm not ignoring you. I'm acknowledging you. I don't have positive things to say. Yeah. I'm going to meet you where you are at, settings. Thanks for showing up. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm saying it. If I'm being serious, fuck setting. I I have to say I am happy. I know it seems like I wanted this to be a fun review and then it got all serious in the second part. It got a little too serious. It got a little too serious. A little combative. But but like there's always, there's like always 8 million reviews where it is that one line of like, you can pet the dog. You can set the child on fire. 10 out of 10, right? It's a, it's a (laughs) meme of a, a review. And I appreciate they didn't just have the meme of the review. They did try and give us a little bit more. And when they tried. Yeah, I feel like I I know the game better having listened to that review. That was a good review. Yeah, everything is fantastic. (laughs) Everything is fantastic and the setting exists. Setting is there. It was horrible. The mechanics, the mechanics, they do feel fresh in this for the genre. Yeah. Now, for the genre. What genre is? You said strategy, right? It, yes, but also it seems like the genre is games that me, me, me makes. Okay. Me. That's the, com- that's the only real comparison. It's like, oh, if you like Desperados 3, which me, me, me made, and you liked Shadow Tactics, again, me, me, me made that. So mm-hmm. sounds like you're saying it sounds like you're saying you made it, Joe. No, I no me, me, me made me, it. me, me. That company should change its name. It's yeah. it's irritating. Maybe they go by like a different name amongst their faithful, their fans. Maybe they're like Me Cube. Oh, Me Cube. That's actually a way cooler name. Yeah. We should call them that. Yeah. They, they could be fine if they just called themselves Mimi. They did. Take off one they, of the Mies. Hey, Jeff, they didn't though. Yeah. They didn't. And now we're here. Now nah, that's what got us here. That, with the setting. I see you. Is it is it weird when you think about it, you want to extrapolate it. Them naming themselves Me, Me, Me led all the way to this conversation they didn't think that it would <laughs> and that but here they are what would they be doing right now would you have even chosen these games joe 
It's yeah. an actually a pretty deep question. What do you think about it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how important them picking their name was to their continued like dedication and success. What else would have changed in the world? Would, would, would who was who's who's president now if me 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 did not name themselves me? You me, don't think you don't think Joey Bag of Donuts would become the president if they didn't call themselves me me me? Yeah. Well, they are they're German. Oh, they're German. Yeah. Oh. So like what about so maybe Angela Merkel would have not Well if if they're German were saying their name wrong, it should be like what was it? It's not can't be me, me, me. My my, my? Me, me, my, me, my. Me. Hey Kim, in, in the Deutsch, how do you say me, me, me? Yeah. It's been so long since I was fluent in Deutsch. Um, but I think it's like it would be like my my my. But you so it's, like a nice so German it's, inflection it's worse too. that. So it's worse that way. Do do a, do a German inflection, Kim. Yeah. I won't. You're allowed to. I will not do it. Why not, Kim? It's I just You're just being recorded. I, yeah, I don't I don't want to have uh, my hacky German pronunciation on the Internet. Yeah, but you have your hacky Boston accent all the time. Jeff, we just give Kim some room to breathe because what we have now done is now there's a fire burning in Kim that will explode if we don't try to smother it. OK, okay. it'll come out at a time when it shouldn't. There's no accent for it because it's. There's no way to like a me, me, me or my, my, my. Like there's no, there's no guttural way of to meh. To see, meh see, hey, Jeff, see what I said? She's trying to figure it out. And in figuring it out, she will find She's it. She's beautiful minding it right yeah. now. She's trying to do the math. You guys leave me alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness. Oh, I, do, I do have to, in all seriousness, I do have to have a side dish here because I know that our show is known for being very tight. But um, earlier this week, Someone gave their email address to me thusly, and I will use my name as an example. Very well. My, and I said, what is your email address? And he said, it's me, M-A-R-T-E-L, so me, Martel, what? at gmail.com. Okay. And so I typed in M-E-M-A-R-T-E-L at gmail.com, and it came back, you know, mail or demon or whatever. His email address in was actually corrected as K I M B E R L Y M A R T E L at gmail.com. His email address was Kimberly Martell, but That's, he said it out loud to me. Oh, it's it's me. He yeah, it's me. Like like right. he's saying like it's my first name, but he didn't say that. He spelled his last name and said me this whole time. I thought his name was Kimberly. No, because I can't use it. was a patient. So I can't use what his I was like, Kim, are you was. ignoring the fact this man has the exact same name as you? <laughs> no, I can't use what his actual name Jeff, was. If that had happened, Kim couldn't have been able to hold it in until she got to the show. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, um, there is, there is some guy in, in, uh, England who has the same name as me, but it's like when somebody reads out their social security number but not in a three two three style. Mm-hmm. Like Mine, all, yeah, remember five five seven five two one <laughs> three. Yeah, exactly. It's like when you say a phone Six. number, but you say all the numbers without like breaks, the natural breaks we're used to yes. seeing visually. It's, it's not like what's your okay. phone number? It's like seven seven two four two time. Do they? It's like no, I need yeah. a break in there. You, and you can hear your own body like try to resist that. I gotta stop after the third number. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah it's like it's like I'm out of breath trying yeah. to listen to them. <laughs> No, it was horrible, guys. It was that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life. Well, I want to I want to give a shout out to Me Me Me, the company that named themselves, which allowed us to get to this part of the conversation. And yeah. this part of the show. Yeah. Where I say, hey, we'll be right back. Let's get back on task, you with, sons with, of bitches. With, with more game. <laughs> okay. All right, prepare for the second game in our list of wonderful games. Oh, my God. Okay. I know. Two games We're coming in hot. It's like that one thing with like the, the Oscar Myers, like, why does your mom let you have two wieners? Why does, uh, why does Joe let you have two video games to review? <laughs> Who you know is this old about? timey kid that keeps showing up to our show? <laughs> why does George, why, why does George, George have two wieners to review? <laughs> Stop asking about Joe's wieners. It's impolite. The two of them. There's two of them for sure. And you're, it's impolite to ask about <laughs> Stop both. Stop pointing to Joe's Multiple wieners. Yeah, that's the beauty of Baldur Gates 3 character customization. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you get multiple wieners? Because you can only get the one. There's a mod for it. There's a okay, you know what? If we have to get into the world of if there's a mod for it, we're never gonna get out of here. Right. This game is titled On Guard. Okay. Uh, 
It is a swashbuckler action game. Battle graceless guards and nefarious noblemen in fast-paced fights full of spectacle. Use the environment, your wit, and your blade to teach them all a lesson. Who? Is it math? No. My parents? On guard. It has uh, been developed and published by Fireplace Games. Uh, also, on- you have to spell it out. People can find it. It's E A N space. space G-A-R-D-E. Like on God. Uh, like, like, oh on God. Like, you're all French and stuff. Yeah, like you're all French. This uh-huh. is the only <clears throat> game from this company, which means this is their first, this is like their first one. This, uh, they broke their gamer developer chami- cherry. Uh, no, they probably uh-huh. made hundreds, if not thousands of games before this one game that they did release. Mm. Aww. That's how game development works. You you have a lot of false starts before you get to something like On Guard. Aww. I know. That makes you really think, hey, if you've never watched also Psych Odyssey, you should. It'll make you appreciate these games that we play known as video. Um, like I said, produced and published by uh, Fireplace Games. It is a character action game. What does that mean? Basically, it's third person. You see a character running around. They're fighting. Like Zelda? More like Star Wars Jedi 2 Survivor. So like it's like an action platformer? Like Uncharted? It's not a platformer. All right. So you can't jump. That you can jump, but it'd be, okay, it'd be no, incorrect to call it. Okay, here's here's the blender because I this is why I have this part of the description so I don't have to do this shit. The blender, which was actually made by someone who played the game from Mask Warriors, a Steam user, it's Sekiro meets Puss and Boots. I just watched that movie. Yeah, I heard it's very good. I haven't watched it. It's pretty good. Yeah. So imagine if that was combined with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. <laughs> <laughs> the hit terrifying ninja game from from software that's on guard it would make sekiro easier because you'd have nine lives yeah and you'd be Unle- well no boots not in the second one that's what that one oh, was no, about in the second one yeah you only get one that movie kicks ass not, oh yeah by the way by the way spoiler alert he he's on his last life oh i know i heard about that that movie looks great i want to watch it yeah but it's yeah. not on one of the several different streaming services I pay for. So I don't Isn't know why the Netflix? fuck. It's on Netflix. Is it on Netflix? But I have to pay for the low end Netflix now because they're so expensive. I'm not paying 20 bucks a month to get better quality image on Netflix. Then sit in what you've, what, then sit in the bed you've made. It's been, it was released on August 16th. You struggled 16th. real hard with that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. It was released on August 16th, 2023. Well, get, get your, get your ca- car and <laughs> get, drive, get drive, drive away from here. Drive away. <laughs> I know what ball. I said. Take your ball and go home. <laughs> Just play on somebody else's tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is the, sun, the sun's going down and I have to eat dinner now. It's getting late. <laughs> you can take your ball and sit in it. <laughs> it's like only available egg. on PC. Well. I know. Yeah. It's also only available for $20. Not bad. Hmm, I don't trust bad. a $20 game. Not a fan of the $20 game? No, I feel like that's too cheap. And I realize that you should not feel that way about things. Yes. But I, I'm, I'm how, suspect. How dare they not charge me more? I know, but I'm sad. Like, why? Like, all the other games are charging this, and they're good. So I must assume, which is not right, that this game is total trash garbage. But I'll, I will let the reviews speak. Yes. At present, um, it enjoys a Metacritic score of 76. Not bad for the first game. 76 for um, critical reviews. It's got a mixed score from users on... Uh, Metacritic, but there's only nine. If you go to Steam, it has 503 reviews, 94% positive. And I will say that on Metacritic, there are a couple of reviews that are sort of skewing everything. Some of them are relatively, it's, it's hard to know. There's just not enough data on Metacritic. I'm kind of trusting Steam to know like what the overall score is, which is apparently 94%. Very positive. People mm-hmm. love this. Well, I, I always look at like the first like reviews you see when you start scrolling down. And if like one of the first few is like negative, I'm like, okay, this might be a mixed Okay. Bag. This one might have a woman who's not a sex object. That's the first one. If the second one is that. negative, you're like, okay, there's a frame rate yeah. issue. Well, it's always a frame. Any more than that, it might be a real problem. I'm a real gamer and I can't do less than 120 frames per second or I will die. It's like the bus speed. If you drop any of frame frames rate per drops, per it's second. just can't. <laughs> Uh, this game looks cute. I like the art style. Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. Well, um, if you like the art style, maybe you'll like the reviews. The head style is really good too. I oh my say. God. <laughs> All right. Um, this is from 
uh, Steam user Blasid. It's B L A S C I D. So I guess it's like flaccid, but blasted. It would have to be, right? Yeah. Kim, did you leave? Where are you? No, I'm still here. Okay. I'm just thinking about. Well, now I'm thinking about blasted, but yeah. Um, Were you thinking about how to say me, me, me in German? No, I'm over that. Me, me, um, me. But I just, I don't know if I do like the art style, but go on. Go. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, okay. <laughs> uh, it's from Steam user Blasted, which is a flaccid butt. Uh, let me get something out here real quick to celebrate this accomplishment. The title is Super Slick. Parentheses on deck, which is Steam Deck. Where it plays wonderfully, I can get a solid 40 frames per second by changing the anti-aliasing to what? TAA. Do you change it to TAA, fucking coward? 40 frames per second? I'm sorry, are you a grandpa? The writing, given great breadth with convincing VO. <laughs> I suppose they're using a lot of acronyms thinking that I know what they're talking about. Uh, has a high puss in boots charm. Okay. Oh. I'm going to take a position that may be terrifying. Mm-hmm. I think this person might be saying it has a Puss in Boots charm because the people probably have accents. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is, this, oh, is, it, is it Antonio? Oh, no. Oh, I see. Okay. That's uncomfortable. Okay. Yes. So, so, so basically an- because there's a sword and... Antonio Banderas-esque voice. And therefore... Puss it's Puss it in has Boots. A Puss in Boots you couldn't charm. say you couldn't say Zorro. Vibe. Couldn't say Z- someone did say Zorro later. I'm just throwing it out there just because it's like that's why they're saying that. Okay, okay. Uh, hi, Puss in Boots charm. On behalf of its setting, producing smiles and giggle. Period. Zero. One, you get one <laughs> giggle in this. One giggle. You won't believe what you giggle. But you will, and he'll do it once. Yeah, and you'll remember that giggle for the rest of your life. That's right. Or at least for the rest of the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, zero cringe. Oh. Okay. I, I, yeah, okay. Nicely difficult on the recommended medium. Okay, what? <laughs> you know what? This difficulty, uh, nicely done. It's, gonna, it's nicely difficult. <laughs> nicely difficult. I mean, I can kind of get, you know when there's like a game that's like difficult enough where it's challenging, but not so much that you feel frustrated. Medium, okay, we call nicely that. Nicely difficult. Yeah, All right. I, I kind of put it there, you know, like nicely. A, so- a Souls game, difficult, difficult. Yeah, that's not nicely. Yeah, like, but I would say like Mario, uh, what's what's the Mario on the Switch again? Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. That's a nicely that's difficult nicely game. nicely difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, the flamenco guitar soundtrack is as clean as it should be and super fitting and enjoyable. Mm. I'm sorry. As clean as it should be? There's yeah. no dirty flamenco guitar. None of that this... nasty, sticky flamenco. None of that stanky flamenco. When flamenco <laughs> was created <laughs> in the 1950s in America, it was clean as it should have been. There's no, it doesn't have the wah wah pedal. The, like, wow, 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 wow. the flamenco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fl- I don't know what flamenco sounds like. I just imagine the, the, the you know, the guitar, like the. I, I just imagine a lot of stomping. Is there you're a lot both, of stomping? Here's the thing is, well, here's what's great. You're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, let's say this. The three people on the Zoom call cannot just guess their way correctly into what flamenco sounds like. I know yeah. what flamenco is. I know okay, flamenco. fucking smart guy. What is it? It's Give me a flamen- couple bars. Give me a few bars of flamenco. And like, can keep them clean. This is a family show. It's like, it's like, oh, no, that's not flamenco. That's from like a game show. Shit. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds like, uh, that sounds like, um, Bossa Nova. Yeah. Another genre. Like, like I don't know Casanova what it is. Or, I was, it's like I Casanova. I, was going, I think I'm getting, I'm getting flamenco mixed up with ska. I think that's the problem. <laughs> Calypso. You're thinking of Calypso. I'm thinking of That's Calypso. That's the goddess of the seas, Kim. Yeah, no, I, it's also like a Frank Sinatra y thing. Okay. What's the music with the 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 do, 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 you know like the um like what they have in Little Mermaid, that sound. What's that? Do, 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 with, with, with all the do, 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 um, that one. With the steel drums. Yeah, yeah. What kind of music is that? Racist. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, no. Would you say that that music is Caribbean or Caribbean? Uh, ooh, I would say Caribbean. Okay. Okay. I still, I would, yeah, I, would, I, I, my, my gut is to say Caribbean. Yes. That, that, that music from Little Mermaid has a Caribbean vibe. To me. Yes. Yeah. No, does it have a flamenco vibe? No, there are no birds that stand on one leg. Yeah. We did. I, uh, so we did get to that. I really like to, to purposefully mispronounce flamenco. Um, 
And Flamin- Flamingo sounds like the company that makes flamingos. We're here. Yeah. We- <laughs> We're Flamingo. We, we at Flamingo. <laughs> we make them more pink and have fewer legs than the next leading pink bird brand. You may ask yourselves, what are the purpose of birds? And you can come to an answer usually. But when you look at a flamingo, you're just like, I have no idea what you're supposed mm-hmm. to be what doing. The, what the hell are you? They're pink because of shrimp. And it's like, I don't, life doesn't make sense anymore. As far as I know, you just stand on one leg in the ocean and that's where you live and that's where you were bored and that's where you'll die flamingo one thing i know there's two things i know about flamingos flamingos one they can eat poisonous things and just not give a shit that's, so that's one something thing that I know. flamingos and i have in common but go the, on the second thing i know people do say that because they eat shrimp they turn pink but shrimp don't even turn pink until you cook them so are they fucking cooking these shrimp i think oh, so God. because i i've i've i believed that it was fake and i read it and it's, I don't know if it's because of the shrimp, but it's because of their diet. Okay. So they're definitely okay. eating shrimp they cooked. They eat cooked shrimp. There's just somebody out there feeding them a bunch of cooked fucking shrimp, man. Look, they look fancy enough the that they might have a personal chef. Each of them might have a personal they're chef. They're very thin. Yeah. They have to be in good shape. Did you know I have tin flax? Maybe they're flax. doing yoga is why they're always on one leg. Did you know that flamingos eat upside down? Now you're fucking with me. No, I guess that makes sense. Cause yeah, you, if you imagine their little heads. Yeah. 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 If um, I okay, no, wait, no, that's bullshit. Because if I put my head face down into like a bowl of soup, as I'm not done, a flamingo for the last time, Jojo, you're not a flamingo. Not with that <laughs> attitude. If you <laughs> suspended yourself from the ceiling and then dipped your head into a bowl of soup and is then that drank eating it that upside way, down? That's eating upside down. So I have to be standing. I have, so I had to be off the <laughs> ground to eat upside down. You would have, or you'd have to have really long arms or good core and upper body strength. What if I'm on? Yourself. What if I'm on like a ledge? Well, here's the thing. You could, Joe, go to your bed and then lay down and like you know have your kind of body go over the side where you're upside down and just eat a chip. Guess what? You're eating upside down. Like a flamingo. Or yeah, a flamingo. Are, you, are you seriously trying to like one up flamingos here? Is that what's happening? Like you can't stand that they can do something that you can't do. Wait till you find out about flying. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Kim, I don't know. I'm hey, looking Kim, at these what do you ten... mean fly? How does that relate to flamingos or flamingo? I'm looking, at, I'm looking at these 10 flamingo facts. Flying's not on here, Kim. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, never mind. It says they're strong swimmers <laughs> and power flyers. But it's number 10 on the list. It's number yeah. 10. Way to bury the lead. They can fly. Uh, and also, I'll give you one more. I don't want to go through all these. Uh, flamingo tongues were a delicacy in ancient Rome and also at a party oh, I was at last night. Why does everybody Ayo. like to eat tongues? Yeah, I don't know. It's the grossest thing. It's the, okay. It's the tastiest part of the animal. Is it? Well, because it tastes. Get oh, it? Oh, right. Eat okay. dicks, man. <laughs> or tongues. <laughs> or if tongues. If the mood strikes you. <laughs> All right, Where were we? Uh, I don't know. We, Where we am did, I? We did one review. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay, I need at least one more, but then we got to get going. Yeah, I, it's okay. illegal to us to only do one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next one for On Guard. Steam user Pardeck. I'll do two short ones. Pardeck. Few games realize the ideals of swashbuckling as clear as On Guard. Super fun, fairly difficult. I love the emphasis on using the environment in battles. Hmm. So, like, you, I'm assuming they mean like kicking a box on somebody, but they could also mean. Like they could in. also mean like Captain Planet. Like there's only yeah. one solution for Earth's pollution, which I actually think may have been a joke in Rick and Morty. They got they got the new voice actors for that now. Oh, they do? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, good for them. What did Captain uh, Planet say? What did Captain Planet say? Yeah, because uh, he uses the environment to kill Captain people. Captain Planet. Well, Captain Planet says he's first of all. He's a hero, and he's going to bring pollution down to zero. I know yeah, but, that. But, okay. But did he? Well, he's going to. That well, how mean, long? What's the fucking timeline on that? You didn't give him a timeline. That's your problem. Yeah. You he should already, have been like, we need this done by whenever. It's on. So it's on us, the the citizen, to hold our superhero. Uh, I don't know what he was. He was a guy with a mullet. And I guess he was just created from energies of the earth. Uh, <laughs> to hold him accountable. I guess that's on me. I didn't do yeah, that. No, yeah, it is. Uh, congratulations. You figured it out. Accountability is a big thing. The fucked up part about Captain Planet was you could, he shows up when the planeteers are faced with a problem that they can't solve. That's a huge part of it. Like he, mm-hmm. he doesn't show up unless the planeteers are in over their heads. Yeah. Which then your, your, your big savior for the planet is dependent upon the decision-making prowess 
of five stupid teenagers. One of them is powered by love. Whatever the fuck that <laughs> means. But here's the here's the worst part, right? So like the planeteers, they have they're not not for nothing. They have powers. Like they yeah. they have magical powers with their like rings and whatever. They're the, they're the Green Lanterns of shittiness, is what yeah. they are. But yeah. but here's what's fucked up, right? It's like they never don't call him. Yeah. There's never an episode of of a uh, fucking Captain and Planet where they're like, eh, let's leave him out on this one. Let's we try, to, let's try to handle this ourselves. Yeah. Can, can they call him? Can he decline to help if they call him for anything? No. So if like, I don't know, I'm trying to eat upside down and I left the chips across the room <laughs> and, and you I don't, don't want to get up your, to get them. And you don't have Linka's wind power to float yeah. upside down. Yeah. I don't, but I have my four of the friends with their rings here in the room with me. We can call Captain Planet. He could. Yeah. And he, will he get, does he have emotions like a man? Can he be upset at me for calling him for trivial matters? What is his, what is his, does he have emotions? Think if he, I don't think he is. a. I think he's some sort of a super being. I mean, he is a superhero, right? He does. Is what he's wearing clothes or no. is that just his skin? He's not wearing clothing. His skin is a solid alloy of titanium, the strongest right. material. Part of it, you answered that right away. But some of it's like red, so it's like he's got part of part. Of, he's wearing he's wearing underwear and boots and gloves. Are you looking at a picture of Captain Planet right now? No, Cap, you can assume that I am always looking at a picture Captain, of Captain Planet. So here's the thing with Captain Planet, right? Like here's his the, the parts of him that are weak, that are weak to injury. Those are light blue. The parts that it's kind of like how Punisher puts like the skull on his fucking bulletproof vest. You'll shoot him there where he has the most armor. Same concept. His wiener has the most armor. Was it captain's? It wasn't the thing that hurt him pollution, which doesn't that seem like a bit of an uh, oversight? Yeah. <laughs> the He's one, really not a great superhero. One, one week <laughs> is the thing that we have him show up for. <laughs> it's always going to be there. <laughs> That's like me and alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I always show up for it and it's my I, one weakness. That, but that's I also kind of like saying my one weakness is redheads. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh man, they get me every time. Come I on, Planeteers. Like, <laughs> I, I would just like to know that Captain Planet definitely fought for the save the survival of the planet, you know. But they did make a shit ton of plastic toys of him. Yeah, they did. Like there's a, a lot of ton. Captain Planet in landfills. Yeah, there's a lot of it. That in there. sucks. Yeah. To hear that is really depressing. When is Zack Snyder going to bring us gritty Captain Planet reboot? I do remember there was an episode of Captain Planet because they had some episodes that were like later. You know how they had Doug and then they had like Doug later on when he was like in high school or whatever. That was that called, was, that, that, you know the name of that show? Was it called D More Doug? No, it was called Disney's Doug. Oh, pff, uh, whatever. And also, yeah. did, hey, listen, by the way, while we're all just kind of like <laughs> riffing in the space, can I just say that I'm pissed off at a Disney's Doug? They fucking made Connie go to fat camp. Oh, I think you oh, brought really? that up more than yeah, one other yeah, time. You're okay, really yeah. That. Fit Queen Connie, they sent her to fat camp between Doug and Disney Doug, and I'm still upset about it. Uh, you, I hope I'll, that she's learned to love herself and let her not <laughs> break ties with her parents, first of all. For sure. They closed yeah. the Harker Burger, they got rid of Connie. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Uh, but I do remember an episode of Captain Planet that was late. I think it was a special and it was greedy because like the, the Was it the one where they were in high school? Yeah, and like there was like there was for like, guns? Yeah, I think it was a gun episode, and they were like, Can we bring him whenever there's a gun problem? Like, could Captain <laughs> Planet have solved all the problems with guns? Like it was there was and there was a part where I was like, Can we please just get back to the fucking burned down rainforest or some shit? Yeah, like, all, why all are I, we doing this? All I remember is that the main player in that episode was the redheaded kid. I'm assuming because he, was he from looked Brooklyn, where there was. I'm assuming because he's the violence. one that probably was abandoned by his parents as a child. <laughs> he looked like the redheaded kid looked like the friend from Terminator Two. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why are you putting me through this? And it, so should I do another review? <laughs> what? Yeah, and then let me go home. Okay, let's do one <laughs> let more. Let me be alone for a while. Indeed. I like. I just. I like to imagine the kids call Captain Planet. And he shows up. He's just hey, Planeteers, and they just hand him a gun. <laughs> They're like. Get it done, Captain Planet. You think his strength is based on the health of the Earth? Because I think if you summoned him now, he would be like, I could fight Captain Planet if it's yeah. the current state of the world. He's just, his his mood changes a lot. It's a lot of climate <laughs> change within Captain Planet. He's just like, cha like Captain Planet's a chain smoker. All right, one more, which we'll do. Yeah, we, done, we did two for each. Wonderful. <laughs> We're doing great, you guys. 
Uh, all right. Um, from Steam user Emilio Cito. I like that. Aww. Emilio Cito. Nice name, man. Good job, your parents. The game starts out strong with a charming art style and combat system that rewards using the environment to manage multiple enemies at once. Good. How? Uh oh. But you think you're oh, like, oh, no, that's wonderful. I saw it. I felt it in my bones yeah. at that period. <laughs> However, even as a short game, this game feels like it is lacking in variety. You face the same couple of grunt enemies introduced in the first few levels throughout the entire campaign. The new enemies that they do introduce have this odd mechanic in which if you try to parry an attack, you should just dodge or dodge an attack. You could parry their health refills. Wait, what? If you avoid the attack in the way that you're not supposed to, they get health back. Yeah, if you do oh. like the non-ideal way of avoiding an attack, they get a health refill. If you f so what they're saying is if you fight the if you fight the bad guys like an asshole, they don't die. Yeah. Which means fighting those enemies end up being about pressing the right buttons depending on the color that flashes above an enemy as they attack, making combat dull, even more repetitive in a game that is supposed to encourage creative play styles that make use of the environment. The combat scenes are separated by incredibly simple platforming. See, Joe, it says there's fucking Fuck platforming you. in here. Mm. Simple platforming segments that never introduce anything new after the first level, as if that level of repetitiveness wasn't enough during the last level, you actually... Oh, spoilers, first of all. Oh, no. During the last level, you actually face every prior boss again. Okay, I actually hate oh, wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's like another little... Didn't they do that in... Mega Man? Yeah, in Mega Man. Yeah, it's they Mega do... Mega Man. That's one of my least favorite things a game I'm does. I'm sorry. Is... Are you saying you dislike Mega Man? I don't... I don't approve I... of his lifestyle. Um, so... I don't want to... Yeah, once you beat a boss, he should not come back and fight <laughs> this, you again. I don't feel like this is a safe place. <laughs> Not for well, Mega Man. If, yeah, if you're cut, everybody's coming back for him. It's not as safe for Mega Man lovers or Cut Man lovers. Get the fuck out of here. Boomer uh, Quagger can fuck off. So, you know, I hate I hate that thing where it's just like, the la you have to face every boss again. I hate that. It's not fun. Fuck it. No, it's just a simple, stupid mechanism. That's to how make they get the, your quarters. The end label, like the end level, super difficult. Yeah, and it's just, it's a padding. They're like, we didn't really have a good idea. Do it again. Uh, during the last level, you actually face every prior boss again. In conclusion, while fun at first, on guard quickly turns repetitive and fails to introduce interesting new ideas. This one's this one gives us some negatives, and I think that these are are these are well thought out negatives. I'm not going to lie. Now, for the game's length, this is a problem. But what about for yeah. the game's price? What about for its breadth? What about for its height? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what depths do we dive into when we play this game? How many quarts of liquid does it hold <laughs> <laughs> what is the game's volume do you yeah, mean? What's his yeah. Volume? um I, I yeah i i don't i'm really torn with this game because like it sounds good and then it sounds like it gets kind of boring is, what I'm, is what I'm hearing okay like it's, it's, okay let me let me spin this on you mm -hmm. there there are people in your life who you keep for years who maybe after about an hour you've heard it all from them it doesn't get different in fact every time you meet them it's everything you've already done again. Okay. All right. Hey, wait, I think he's talking about us. <laughs> now you are, you, you give this game less grace than a lot of the people in your life. Well, yeah, I'll, because I didn't pay $69 for a lot of the people in my yeah. life. You didn't and pay also, $69 for this either. And also this game didn't build a bunch of computers and leave them at my house for me to use. Now I definitely feel unsafe <laughs> on this call. <laughs> <laughs> Those were not for you to use. All right, guys. So I, I I'm I'm more torn on and guard than I am for the first game. Shadow but, Gambit. Yeah, the first game that you remember, Shadow Gambit. Yeah. The cursed crew. The cursed. The cursed. The oh my cursed. God. Yeah. Um, but I feel like maybe I feel like twenty bucks for a game that I might get bored of after like a, a little bit. Mm, maybe I'll wait till it drops in price. From twenty bucks, you're gonna wait. Yeah. Fuck. Look at in this I'm economy. Easily entertained. I that, yeah, it. that's definitely gonna keep this company afloat. <laughs> I support their ideals. <laughs> don't take it back. Don't Look, they waffle. Should be, they should be investing smart. Don't don't rely on me. Yeah. yeah. Don't rely on me. Go for the other people who will buy your game. Yeah. <laughs> Leave Kim and Jeff out of it. Yeah, I'll get it at TJ Maxx when it's on clearance on Monday. Yeah, and I'll get it in some sort of game bundle where I just own everything except for this one game. That is how it works, isn't it? We've done it. Thank you for watching. You can't watch this. Thank you for listening to our show. <laughs> Uh, do you guys have any genuine reviews or genuine recommendations for folk? Uh, have you tried sleep? I uh, went to bed at eight thirty last night. I wow. did. I did too. It was great. Oh, I've, I've you been guys got to try sleep. Sleep. I've been forcing myself to get 
uh, at least seven and a half to eight hours. And Ugh. I mean, I don't wake up as early as you do, but yeah, uh, it is a thing where I, I do wake up on those days where I get sleep and I didn't drink the night before. And I'm just like, why don't I do this all the time? And the weekend comes and I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> <That's- laughs> uh, so sleep. Okay. Any other actual real games? Kim? No, okay. no, I'm, That's good. I'm uh, hanging my hat on sleep. Okay. Joe. What about you, man? Uh, I mean, you know me, I'm always playing. I got back into Final Fantasy 14. I, um, I have not played enough of Baldur's Gate 3 to really say much yet. Okay. So it, it is, I'm just happy that it runs on my computer or Joe's computer that he built and left here, mm-hmm. and, which has mm-hmm. become mine. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I don't know that's how that works. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, um, I've been playing, they released it on Switch recently. Um, I played it a bunch on, on mobile, but, uh, Vampire Survivors on Switch and it runs very well on Switch. Vampire Survivors like, is very good. Yeah. It's very, it's like five bucks. It's worth it. Um, it saved my life. When I fly. <laughs> yeah, it saved my marriage. It saved my life. Like when I flew last week, like through a bunch of fucking places, I just, that's what kept me uh, going <laughs> was, was yeah. I was just like headphones in. I'm just doing vampire survivors because I don't have to be connected to the internet to play this shit. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Very wonderful game. game. Play it. I'm just going to, I think I recommended it before, but Yakuza like a dragon. Um, yeah. Amazing, good. amazing, like so Yakuza. fucking good, and Yakuza. it's good on the deck. If you have the Steam Deck, it runs on there perfectly. I love this game so much. Is, I cannot wait that, for the sequel. Hey, the sequel. Hey, listen, the the sequel, um, like a dragon, infinite wealth. The sequel, the the trailer for the sequel. He w- Ichiban wakes up on the beach naked, stands up. He's just naked, dick out. You you almost see his penis, and then everyone points at it and screams. That that is the trailer for the sequel in this amazing action RPG franchise. Wow. 10 out of 10. Bold. I say Yakuza. You say Yakuza. Say Can Yakuza. you pet the dog? Yes. That's all those games are. They, they're really like if you could if you could boil a game down to like concept. Petting the dog definitely is the Yakuza. It's a lot. It's many hours of petting the dog in different ways. Yeah. Okay. Um, give yeah. us a positive review on your podcatcher of choice. And uh, Jeff, if you couldn't round us out with one final review. If you Let's can. go back to a review from the first game. All right. Shadow Gambit, the Cursed Crew. The Cursed Crew. Now you're going out of your way to make sure you remember it. Yeah. I see. Um, from Steam user Nez Demoid. N-E-Z-D-E-M-O-I-D. A superb game that was released during the not-so-ideal time window between Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield. I hope this doesn't affect his popularity and success. <laughs> Whoa, that was threatening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, that's somebody's, like, like passive-aggressive mom. But okay, yeah, all right. We got a real nice game here. Shame if something happened to it. <laughs> Shame if it was released between two AAA titles. Mm. Mm. My name's JoJo. <laughs> My name's Jeff. And I'm Kim. And this has been Listen to Player 2, and I think I'm going to pee my pants, is my real mom and dad. (laughs) (laughs) This has been a long recording, you guys. I have to go. (laughs) 